In this video, I'm going to talk about the one biggest mistake you should never make during the PE exam. But before I do that, let me remind you that most successful engineers will tell you that getting their PE license was the biggest career growth driver that they've experienced, whether it was due to a promotion, salary increase, or just more exciting projects to work on. You want to get your PE license. However, preparing for the PE exam can be a real challenge. But through this and other videos on this channel, you will learn everything that you need to know about the licensing process, including PE exam preparation. So please be sure to subscribe to my channel here as my weekly videos will help you pass the PE exam. And if you leave questions in the comments below, I will answer them in future videos. In fact, this video was created in response to a comment on a previous video. The biggest mistake that engineers make in preparing and taking the exam is not realizing or remembering that the biggest obstacle that you face during the PE exam is time, period. So just as important, if not more important, than studying all of the different problem types is having a solid approach to the exam in terms of approaching the problems and using your time efficiently. So how can you do that? you must establish a test taking protocol or process. <laughs> the real engineer in me is coming out now. A process that you follow no matter what happens on exam day. This will help you to cut out the emotional aspect of test taking or reduce your nerves and keep you focused on time. So here's one approach that I've spoken about before in past videos, but want to reinforce here. Go through the exam the first time around and do only the problems that you are 100% certain that you can get right. Why? Because the whole game here is that you need to get a certain number of questions right in a limited amount of time. This approach ensures that you get off to a quick start and you accumulate right answers. The opposite approach of going through each problem sequentially in order and trying to complete each question can literally kill your chances. What if you spend 15 minutes on a question that you're not familiar with, you get it wrong, and then it prevents you from getting to easier problems that you would have gotten right. I know this sounds obvious and easy, but so many engineers that I talk to don't employ this approach. Sometimes as engineers, we think too analytically and our brain wants us to go in order, but that is not the way. This is the way. Another strategy for ensuring that you use your time efficiently is to ensure that you are 100% comfortable with your study materials and you can quickly find what you need when you need it. If your exam has already gone to computer-based testing or CBT, that means being really comfortable with the online reference handbook. If your exam is not CBT yet, then you will still be using your own materials and you can tab them and mark them up accordingly. When I took the exam, I focused on these two things a lot. I had a solid approach for going through the problems, taking on the easy ones first, flagging the harder ones for later, and I spent a ton of time preparing my materials. And guess what? I passed by one problem. So this stuff matters. So please don't forget that time is your biggest obstacle when you're trying to pass the PE exam. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Pass the PE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to them in future videos. And maybe there's a specific topic that you need help with or a specific question that you need answered. Pass the PE exam. We'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.